Alright, anyway, there is an ECU upgrade I have to get. Let's go to Megalo, because I'm a cheapskate like that. Right. 1200. That's very good. Performance chip by. I'm going to go with Greddy, I think. And fuel pump by Stillen. There we go. Wait, can I dine on my car from here? Yes, I can dine on my car. So this is the uh, this is the tuning portion of the game. I'm not, not going to do any tune. Actually, yeah, let's do some tuning. Let's try and upgrade the power of the car. Uh, for, I guess more useful for drag if I do this. Right, so right now, how much horsepower would I have? It's not making a graph. But apparently I have 272 horsepower and 179 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, the torque comes in really, really late though, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to make the peak torque a lot further down the rev range, and I think max power is okay. Right, suspension, of course, I'm low as I can go. I'm not sure if NFSU follows real life or sort of more gamey physics, so I'm, I'm not going to touch any of these. Oh, don't touch any of those, I said. Uh, how do you... Because I have to click the thing to move. No, how do I... Alright, okay. <laughs> I'm being derpy, my bad. Alright, uh, let's skip it more for top speed. For drag racing. Uh, very weak aerodynamics when you're drag racing. You don't want any... You know, you don't want any downforce when you're going in a straight line, really. Uh, grip fine, that's all fine. Alright, ECU, this is where you adjust the torque. So I want the majority of my torque around 6,000 RPM. I.e. When, when the VTEC kicks in. And that should give me like a really good... good much better curve. And you, you, don't <laughs> you don't need torque up here. So, no, I think this is very good. Very strong torque curve here. And for the turbo... Be increasing turbo lag, but the oh no wrong. The idea is that if we keep the revs high, we'll always have a lot of power from the turbo. Uh, making sure I get every single pixel of power. There we go. Nitrous. I'm not going to touch this because generally what happens is if you tell it too much to power, you, you know it it's gone in a second. So I'm not going to bother changing that. Alright, let's do that dyno run. Hopefully it should uh, give us a... Uh, uh, ooh, yes, yes, that's what we wanted. Alright, so, the exact same power, exact same RPM, that's not a problem. Max torque, we've got one more torques, but 2000 RPM further back, which is great. Uh, a lower top speed, and we've made acceleration worse. Uh, I believe, I think that's due to the... Where is it? Drive train. Let's put it back to like 4.25. It might have made, I made it might have too long for a, a Civic really. Of course, uh, better transmissions will give you more customi customization with the gear ratios. We're only slightly faster. What's up with this? Oh, I didn't mean to test run. Oh well, you can you can see my Civic sort of going. We um, being a dick. All right. Let's just let's try it. Short shift. Never mind. Um, we did not sixteen four point seven instead of. 4.9 that was quoted, so... You know, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'm happy with that. No, 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 no. Let's go back to... There we go. So that's my drag racing setup sort of done for this. <laughs> the problem is when you tune, is it's going to be irrelevant when you get the next bunch of parts, so... I usually hold off on doing it until like I really have to. Alright, it's the circuit race. 
this is hot, dude. Our sponsors floating around, checking out the sea, and this run counts towards your deal. All right. All right. So, oh, Mustang. Um. All right. <laughs> Damn. Yes, tiny. What's with your tiny wheels? You know, I'm, I'm have to. I must mention the Mustang is a V8. It's not a. You know, it's not a V6 for like. Twenty thousand dollars. It's a V8 Mustang. Why are the wheels so tiny? Why would you do that to a Mustang? All right. So the Civic is—it's a lot faster. And of course, this is just the ECU. Um, the, the tuning I just did obviously only counts for drag races. So you won't really, really see any, you know. You won't see the fruits of my labour until we do a drag race. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that was a terrible shortcut. Alright. Let's use nitrous to stay ahead. Come on, come on. Of course, turn the ability to control off. While it does give you better cornering. Oh, that. Yeah, that was a genuinely. That was a genuine avoided accident right there. Yeah, while well, it does give you great, great handling, it also makes the car so twitchy. It, it is, re it's like how can I, com what can I compare it to? Let's just say it's like trying to thread the needle. You know, it one little movement and you're off. And you're off. Oh. See, <laughs> it's like one little. Oh, uh, oh! <sighs> I am just so lucky. This is pure luck right here. Right, let's see how fast this thing actually got. We're only got 150, 125 on steam though. Uh, let's okay, 100, 160 on our own power. Right, let's use nitrous. What's our actual top speed? 180. That's not too bad. Oh, let's go take the shorter route. If you're just on the yellow that you want to when you want. Oh. Oh. Power sliding Civic. Completely legit. Kind of drifting. We. I like how it says power slide instead of drifting. That's definitely a, a thumbs up for a EA there. Leave the drifting for the actual drift mode. Don't like you know. Don't fool people and think they're actually drifting. When it's just you know, it's just this. You're getting points for this. Oh, that was better than crashing into him, I suppose. You know, I'm I'm starting. You no, know, this, this new look was starting to grow on me. I think. Was it, is it a renegade? I have no idea what the kit's called anymore. But yeah, th th this kit's okay. Uh, I believe it's actually in NFSU as well. This kit. It's more. You, you notice that the more garish-looking kits are the one from NFSU two, and the more sort of bearable ones are from the original game. Mainly because the original game was actually trying to be like, hey, we can make Fast and the Furious bumpers here. Whereas two is like, you know, we just want to go completely ape shit with design. I think it most wanted where we're like, okay, let's just scrap all this horrible tat and make just preset wide bodies that look awesome. I think overall I like uh, Pro Street tuning the most. Because it had auto sculpt and has like a really, really in depth form of auto sculpt. And for whatever reason, it disappeared. <laughs> no more auto sculpt. Uh, shift didn't have it, to my knowledge, and even Shift 2. Uh, the run doesn't have auto sculpt. They haven't used auto sculpt for ages. They should bring that. But that's a really good, you know, thing. You take stock wheels, you make them bigger, you. You add dish, you add lip. It looks ten times better than any other wheel available in the game. Then there was the whole uh, muscle cars, you could give them chop tops. There was uh, 
blowers and the bonnets. It looks really, really awesome. And I don't know why EA stopped putting that in the games. I'm hoping, you know, whenever EA decide, you know, we're going to make another tuning game. I hope they bring back Auto Sculpt with that. That would be great. That said, apparently the next end fest will not be on the ground three. Uh, well, it, here's the thing: it was a cri I think it was a Criterion exec that was like, "Hey guys, I'm sorry, but it's not on the ground three." And I don't know if he's actually being like, "Hey, you know, stop being all hyped up," or he's, you know, trying to sort of hide under a blanket while uh, they work on the actual game. I'm hoping it is actually Underground 3 though. That would be a great thing to have. I actually can Underground 3 come in 2014 because this year I've already got Grand Turismo 6, Grand Theft Auto 5 and Saints Row 4 to buy. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of money. What's this? Hoods. New hoods. Don't need those because I've got my unique one. But uh. Um, let's, let's, let's go to Drag Race. There's one here. Let's go to that one. But yeah, I know you know this be out much later than you know. It's it, this be old news by the time this episode comes out. But uh, Grand Turismo 6 was announced on the uh, 15th anniversary of Grand Turismo, and uh, not totally. It was, it was a nice surprise. I was expecting, you know, Grand Turismo 6 to be a PS4 title, and I'm sure many other people were as well. So to see it, uh, you know, being announced for like basically six months' time, that you know, that was a great surprise. And I'm hoping that they correct all the mistakes they made with Grand Turismo 5, and it'll be a great game. Any whistles? Time for D R A G Gra drag. Come at you strong. All right, here we go. Supra 240 Mustang against my tuned Civic. Perfect shift. I've got to do nitrous purge. That's fine. Oh yeah, this is much stronger. It pulls a lot harder in the mid range, and then at the top end, it's really, really. You know, it keeps on. Keeps on pulling. Am I winning? I am winning. Alright, just one more turn to make and spray. Smashing boxes. Yeah. Oh! Pulling some wheelies there, Mr. Mustang. Oh, how did the Supra lose? Come on. Come on, Steve. Get get it together, Steve. <laughs> no rep one, because I was being chased by a the Mustang that was doing wheelies. New headlights. Oh, these are actually designs. All right. Well, where's the newest headlight shop? Uh, it'll be here. I'll right, we'll go check out these new headlights, and then I'll uh I'll call it I call an end there. We had to have one crash this episode, I suppose. Damn van. Well, they, look at them, actually, look at the traffic models for a second. Look how awfully awful and plain they are. It. <laughs> to think that today, this Civic would be a civilian, like it would be a traffic car. This sort of quality would be traffic car. That's crazy. Alright, new headlights time. Alright, what's headlights? Here. Alright, so we have... Voltage. <laughs> oh, that looks horrible. Projector, also horrible. 
Apex. Uh, also horrible. <laughs> Guys are horrible. Quartz. Maybe if it didn't paint it, the sides of the headlights the body colour, they'd look pretty cool, but unfortunately I'm not being won over by these new headlights. Not at all. Alright then, that's that's it from me today with NFSU2. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video and the series as a whole. And I'll see you next time.